And this particular song, when it found us, it was actually labeled as happiness song. It was recorded in 1945, I believe, in Fort Wingate, which is a boarding school. And when we listen to this song, even though it's labeled as a Navajo happiness song, I know for many of you, you're starting to get a larger understanding of what those boarding schools were and the trauma, the intergenerational trauma that has since kind of become revealed. I know with Deb Hallen, the current Secretary of Interior, they're investigating and looking at how many graves and how many children did not return home. And that number currently is just kind of projected at tens of thousands, tens of thousands of children that did not come home from those boarding schools. So when we saw that happiness song, we, we decided to kind of take this, this, take you on a journey to feel a little bit more of the emotion because this is a powerful song that reflects not only from the long walk when we were forcibly removed from our, reser from our homelands and then later brought back to our reser what was designed as the reservation, those boundaries are people saying this song in a way that was so powerful, no matter how much loss and grief and hardship that we've endured, this song has continued. That's why we refer to it as the Navajo National Anthem because it's, it's a powerful, beautiful song. So when we first heard the recording, um, the recording was, um, is from 77 years ago. And we thought about the, the children and their experiences and we wanted to incorporate that as well into our interpretation of the song to not only sing the song and not only create music for this song, but also to create a sense of their experience of the boarding school era from the beginning of having the strong cultural roots and then being removed into institutions and then bringing that further into the, the journey that this song has taken from the longest walk to the boarding school era to now, where we appreciate being able to, it's, it's actually, it's a privilege, I should say, and a hard earned right to be able to wear our turquoise, to be able to cut our hair if we want. Sheena Shah. Shinasha <laughs> She na shall and day was on a yah in a ya. She kayahojona gonna shy. Allah, Allah, gonna shy. She na shy. She na shy. She shall Ya, 
Shikeshte ho jan konesha Yeah. Thank you. Go ahead. 